I promised a video about anger and if it's healthy and I shared with you a saying which is when you are angry or feeling rage you are not punishing the other person you are making yourself ill well anger is a natural response to a perceived threat it causes your body to release adrenaline your muscles to tighten and your heart rate and blood pressure to increase you may notice that your senses feel more acute and your face and your hands become flushed. And anger is linked to other emotions. So if you think about it, things like frustration, annoyance and fear. And it's not that the emotion of anger is bad. It's not a bad thing as long as we manage it in a healthy way. That sounds easy, but we're not really taught how to deal with our emotions. We're usually told what to think or what to feel during our life, especially our early life, but not how to manage it. So the way we're designed and how we're taught is just to get on with it. So what happens with any negative emotions that we don't process is that it gets pushed down inside us and we think, I can't deal with that today. I'll come back to it another time and we move on. But if we don't process those emotions, they are stored in our body. So imagine a metaphorical dustbin and you push the emotion away because it's too difficult to deal with today and you put the lid on. Guess what? We never go back to empty that bin and deal with that emotion. So what happens is that bin just fills up and fills up until one day there's no more room and that lid is going to blow off. And you could reach burnout not able to cope, feel really low, depressed, exhausted. This same thing goes on for other negative emotions, such as sadness, fear, hurt and guilt, that have accumulated throughout our life. The negative emotions that we experience throughout our life are often left unresolved. So as I said, they accumulate and they impact how we think, feel, behave, and the choices that we make on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's go back to anger. We're not just angry usually in that moment. So for example, the kids have left the shoes in a mess in the hallway again. Someone cuts you up on the motorway. Your boss at work changes a deadline at last minute. The anger or frustration that we feel can be magnified because we haven't dealt with our historic buildup of anger. So what can you do? So take notice of the quote and know that if you become angry, you are hurting yourself in some way and not the person you are angry with. So acknowledge how you feel and ask yourself honestly, is this warranted helpful anger? What is this feeling really? What is it really telling me? And take some deep breaths and decide how to handle the anger in a healthy way for you. So here are some questions that you can use to ask yourself, for what reason am I angry? Am I truly understanding the other person? Is my anger getting me what I want? Is my anger out of proportion to what has actually triggered it? These are just some questions to think about. As part of my coaching and wellbeing services, I practice techniques which actually release the emotional, the negative emotional baggage that we carry around, which are harmful to our body. So these are things that can prevent us from flourishing in our life. So by doing this, by releasing it, it enables you to gain more control of your emotions. As you're not walking around with that emotional bin inside, which is getting fuller and fuller. It's like a weight being lifted off your shoulders all the things that have been holding you back from doing the things that you want to do or how you want to be are being released, enabling you to move forward free from the negative emotions and to do so with clarity. Does it mean you'll never be angry again or feel a negative emotion again? No, but you won't feel it with that buildup of stored emotions that you've accumulated over your lifetime. It just becomes much easier to process your emotions as you go.
go on and to move on. So if that is something you're ever interested in, please do contact me um, and or any of the services that, that I do. You can have a free conf confidential chat with me. I'd be more than happy to do that. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. As you know, I like to do snapshots on topics. So if you do have any questions that I haven't answered in this video, pop them in the comments. And as usual, I will come back to you as soon as possible.